Uh, I got to tell you, I learned about Hub Arkush's, uh, you know, thoughts on not going to vote for Aaron Rodgers through your site. Michael David Smith with a terrific post on it. I agreed with every word that he said. I'll give you the floor on it, Mike. Well, Hub Arkush was on 670 to score just moments ago, and he's still on there right now. And they opened the segment asking him about the firestorm, and he said he made a mistake, but. His regret comes from talking publicly about Mm, his voting plans. He at no time acknowledged that his voting plan is substantively erroneous and he should not be considering off-season drama, vaccination, prevarication, or anything else other than performance on the field week one through week 18. The fact that they secured the number one seed, his numbers are phenomenal. He continues to be one of the best quarterbacks in the NFL. Those are the things that should be considered, not whether or not he's the biggest jerk in the league. And I'm able to compartmentalize the two. I think he's a phenomenal quarterback, and I think he's a gigantic jerk who loves attention, loves to make himself into the victim when he's not the victim. The woke mob never came after him. He's worried about being canceled. He's never going to be canceled. If anything, he's more not popular necessarily, but more visible than ever before. But as it relates to this, it actually helps him, I think that Arkish said what he said, because to the extent that there are other voters that may have been thinking about not voting for him for reasons other than football, those voters may think, you know what, I, I, I don't want to do this, and I don't want to have to deal with the headache on the back end if I don't vote for Aaron Rodgers and I can't defend it, and people are going to think I didn't vote for Aaron Rodgers because I think he's the biggest jerk in the world. Well, look, man, it's most valuable player. I mean, it, it's insane that anybody would hold whatever Rogers is doing uh, and saying against him in terms of his on-field play, which is what this award is. Off the field stuff, there's the Walter Payton Manning of the Year award. That's what that award's for. And in many ways, it is rightfully uh, a bigger award than MVP award for some. Uh, it is the best picture if you will, of the NFL honors. It is the final award, you know. So uh, for many reasons, that's what that's for. And the MVP award is for most valuable player. And I would even understand that you don't, you can't make the most valuable player somebody who's been suspended for weeks due to a, a violation of conduct or a violation of, uh, uh, you know, uh, steroids. Like that, that I can sort of, you know, countenance. This is absurd. This is absurd. And the fact that he's now saying, I apologize for saying the way I feel is, is a total non-starter, non-starter for me. Well, and Rich, here's the problem. There's only 50 people who have these votes. So he has a 2% voice in all of the awards that are made part of the NFL honors. They are the official NFL awards, MVP, Comeback Player of the Year, Coach of the Year, Offensive and Defensive Rookie of the Year, Offensive and Defensive Player of the Year, and the All-Pro Team. And when you admit that you are considering improper factors as to one, where else are you considering improper factors? I I think they should take him off the panel. They have time to do it. The votes haven't been cast yet. They won't be cast until next week. They should take him off the panel, and they should replace him. I think that's a no-brainer. And I asked the league for comment on it because it's the official NFL awards, and they say, it's not appropriate for us to comment. Well, why wouldn't it be? Why wouldn't it be? You're tying the shield to these awards. And if there are fundamental problems with the voting process, that's something the league should be concerned about. And I hope behind the scenes, even though the league won't say anything publicly, they don't want to call out the AP, yada, yada, hopefully somebody from 345 Park Avenue contacted somebody from the AP today and said, we can't have this. We just can't have this mindset infecting these awards because they are important. And it's a big deal, and especially for all pro voting, you've got major contract incentives that can be tied to those awards. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.